These are scumbags! 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 Tearing down the shrine left for Henry Vincent, the man stabbed to death as he tried to burgle pensioner Richard Osborne Brooks and his wife Maury. Outside their home, as tributes grow, so too does a row, as once again an angry local destroys the flowers left here by Henry Vincent's family. This is absolutely, how can anybody allow this to go on now? Calling the memorial an insult to a man trying to defend his home as Henry Vincent's family brought fresh flowers yesterday, remembering a father. Protesters keep tearing down the tributes left for the career criminal, one choosing a new home for them, this local graveyard. In fear of a revenge attack, the pensioner and his wife have now gone into hiding after police told him he was cleared of blame for killing the armed robber. Neighbours on this suburban South London street are divided. Nathaniel was one of the last people Henry Vincent saw before he died, raising the alarm to police after the botched burglary a week ago. I feel they have the right to leave some flowers here. Their family member has passed away, and I feel that's what people are forgetting in this situation. When people do bad, we see the bad, do you know what I mean? But what bad means your life should be taken, none really but Nicola, who's lived here her entire life, told me the flowers are insensitive. Opposite the house, it does feel intimidating. It feels like they're, the, the people are saying, we're here and we're watching. And obviously, the nature of what happened, with it being a robbery, you do worry. This suburban street has now become a focal point for a row where there can be no winners. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.